Hey guys, how's it going? Scotty from scottsbasslessons.com and I'm back with you with a killer uh, giveaway. A killer, well, not just one giveaway, a lot of giveaways. The guys from Agula have been kind enough to give us all these pedals. Thank you guys at Agula. And, and we're going to be giving one, each one away, for the next few weeks. And on top of that, we're going to have a huge giveaway bundle that we've got going on right now, okay, that you can also be a part of. So not only can you win one of these, little bad boys, little bad boys, blah, 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 uh, but you can also, we're giving away a bass, we're giving away an amp, we're giving away a cab. We're actually giving away this DB cab right under the, uh, the Van der Klee head. Um, one of these is coming soon as well. Um, but anyway, so we're giving away the, uh, the DB cab as well. So to get your chance and enter this this awesome giveaway what i want you to do is click on the link if you're watching this on youtube click on the link and it'll take you through to a page and it'll give you all the instructions that you'll need to follow to enter yourself in this competition and if, if you're on the uh, if you're on scottsbaytessence.com watching this there'll also be a link below as well so but before you go because i've got all of these pedals here I get asked a lot about, you know, what pedals that I like and, 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 you know, and how to use them and stuff like that. So I thought I'd just run you through the different pedals that we've got here from Agula and just give, give you kind of like an overview of what you could use it for and what I like specifically about these pedals, actually, because there's some really great features that I think um, on the older style pedals that you don't get. So I'm just going to talk about them. And first of all, we'll start with the Optimizer. I actually just want a job naming these pedals. I wonder if Aguilar have like a guy that's just, it's, it's, it's just his job. Maybe they keep him in the back somewhere. We've got get him out. We've got a new pedal and they get him out from the back and he comes up with names like Fuzzy Store. Fuzzy Store. Chorosaurus. I'd love that job. Anyway, so the first one is the Optimizer. It does what it says on the, you know, on the tin. I'll give you the, the dry signal. And the, the tone here is just, everything's flat. Then the bass is wide open. Click the pedal on. Okay, so it's like, a, you know. It does what it says on the, on the packet, but the, the cool thing is, okay, that there's levels, and I love it when pedals have levels on so we can actually control the level of it. So here we've got the... There, I've just turned the octave level all the way down. And then I can bring that in the mix. Okay, and then we've also got the clean level is here, so we can turn it all the way off. Now what's cool about this, I think it's a really great, great feature, is that you can actually, when if you, I'm going to turn the octave level all the way off, and you'll see that the clean has a tone. So, and that's controllable within the mix, so, and I think that's a really great feature. I'm just going to turn this down a bit. Not that much. Okay, and we can change the, and the opposite of that. So you can see as I'm turning up the clean there, you get sort of like a... You know, it just it changes the tone of it completely, which I think is very cool. And then on the opposite side, the octave filter, for me, kind of does the same thing in a way. It's obviously it's a filter, but we'll turn the clean level all the way off so you can hear this. And again. Changes the tone of the octave, filters through, right? So within the mix, let's go all the way off. 
You'd have to be listening with headphones to hear that because the octave is like super sub. And then. So that's why I love this pedal. Uh, the compressor obviously is, uh, it does what it says on, on the tin. It's a compressor. It's got level, threshold, attack and, and slope, is it? Yes, yeah, slope. Um, if I turn it on, and what I really particularly like about this compressor is that again, it has a level. So I can match my clean signal, which is here. If I turn it down, you know, and that's for me really useful. because you want them the same and there's so many times where I'm, I'm, I click on a pedal and it alters the overall level of the, the signal and there's no way of altering it. So you, you put a pedal on and off and it's like super quiet with it off and then when you put it on it's loud or the opposite way around, which is why I love this. Um, this filter twin here, uh, this is actually my filter twin, uh, but we are giving one of these away. It's just in a box over there, but I just thought I'd use this one so I didn't have to get out of the box. You can see it's actually an older design. It's a little bit bigger here. Uh, they, they've made them a little bit smaller and a little bit cooler up top. Um, again, it's an envelope filter, right? And when you use this in conjunction with an octave, for instance, it can sound very cool. <laughs> yeah, sounds just like super, super tasty. Um, you could put a bit of compression on that. Just to even things out a bit. The next one along is a Chorosaurus, and love that name. And I've actually got it set really fast here because I really like Chorus fast. It gives, it reminds me of like a like an old kind of film, you know. Obviously you can take the rate down and you know, it, is, it does what it says on the packet now. Super nice. Um, the next one along is the Agro, which is like a, Distortion type pedal, hence the name, Agro. <laughs> I've got it turned up there as you'll be able to hear. Okay, let me just get the... Yeah, and again, the level is there, so I can alter the volume of it, I can... Which is super, super helpful for me. And I also love this pedal because it's got the presence on there, so... I think it's just really good. And it's also got this cool contour thing. Hear that? about this specific pedal guys is that it, it the the bottom end doesn't get crushed a lot of pedals um, that aren't designed with bass in mind distortion pedals you put them on and the bottom the bottom end just disappears where if you hear you'll hear I'll just make you know make sure you can hear it that 
bottom end. It still keeps that bottom end. Now bear in mind that you're probably listening to laptop speakers, so you're probably thinking, I can't hear any bottom end. But trust me, it is there. And then finally, but certainly not least, is the fuzzer store, the old fuzz pedal. I think of um, like Larry Graham when I think of fuzz. Um, you know, on the... You know, it gives you that. And again, you know, it's got the level on there, which I really like, so you can set the level. You're not just left with this blaring, this blaring effect. And you can also... Change the tone. And and again, if you're listening with headphones, make sure, I mean, through a laptop, make sure you listen with headphones so you can hear that bottom end because it, it's killer. It, it really does sound great. And you can use it in conjunction with, you know, Again, remain that all the bottom end there just is there all intact underneath the actual effect on top. So that's just a run through these Aguilar pedals, guys. Again, you can we're going to be giving some of these away over the next few weeks. We're going to be giving away I think, one a week until the end of the big giveaway. Okay, so we're going to be giving away one a week until the end of the big giveaway, where you can win a bass, you can win an amp, you can win this cab, and you know. So if you want to be part of this, hopefully you do, um, click the link if you're watching this on YouTube, it'll take you through to the giveaway page where you'll be able to watch the video and find out what you're gonna, you know, what's going on with the giveaway and how you can enter. It is super easy and hopefully you'll be in on this shenanigansa. Shenanigansa DMAC, I'm just getting that in everywhere. My favorite word is shenanigans, right? But shenanigansa, come on, what a great word. Anyway. Other than that, guys, take it easy in the shed. And as always, as always, damn. It's the first time I've ever messed that up in my life. As always, see you in the shed. See you in the shed, guys. Bye.